So, I'm starting a new series on the channel, and I promise you, I promise you, it will be more than like five episodes because I'm gonna, I'm really gonna have to, I'm gonna stick to it, and I'm gonna actually try to consistently post on it. I know I've st I've said this in the past, but I haven't posted well on it. I promise you, this one will be different. I've actually already recorded the first episode. It will be up tomorrow. But I don't know if you guys watch MMG. He's the best bad YouTuber out there. Don't let anyone tell you different. Also goes to MSU. We'll just graduated from MSU. But he has a series called Wheel of Mutt. And I thought, I'm going to do the same thing, but it will be the show. Now, it's not going to be the exact same. In fact, mine is going to work a lot differently. But I think this is going to be fun. And so basically what's going to happen is I'm going to start with an all bronze team. And that will be the show. And I'm going to have to play games to upgrade the team nine. I think MMG gets like a one wheel spin or two wheel spins at the start of each episode to upgrade his team. The only way I can upgrade my team is by either winning or completing the challenge. So let me show you what the possibilities for that are. Okay, so here are some challenges for each game. Like three RBI is one player. Don't run into a double play. Make a diving catch. Rob a home run. Back-to-back -back homers, blindfolded at bat while pitching, four hits, one player, ten hits, team, pitch a position player for one inning, score seven runs, one hit with a pitcher, four runs, one inning, complete game with starter, 10 Ks with starter, three home runs, team, four extra base hits, team, two extra base hits, one player, and then we're back. So these are all sort of just obscure challenges I put. So we're going to spin this wheel at the start of every episode, and the way... And if we complete that challenge, we get to spin the winner's wheel. Here is the winner's wheel. Now, the big, now some little, I guess, choices are bigger than the others. The ones that have the bigger, like, thing are not that great. Like, upgrade two players, one tier, plus five overall to three players, three golds choice. I'll talk about the card wheel random, but these little ones are all really, really good ways to upgrade the team. Like, random MLB team, that's a good one. So basically, I would have pick a random MLB team and I can pick any player from that team. Random college. That means I would pick a random college and I could pick an MLB player that went to that college. Revolution. We'll talk about that later. Uh, future. And then we have every single series of cards. Future star. Postseason. Monthly award. Signature series. Prime. Rookie. Veteran. Award series. All-star. Live series. Prospect. So these are all different types of cards. And if we land on that, I could choose any player that's that type of card. These are like some really good ones. Steal a star is a pretty good one. That basically means... I can pick any player that my opponent used in the game. So that's a nice one. We have chat's choice. That's where you guys can comment. If I land on that, you guys in the comments will choose who I pick. We have Q's choice starters, Q's choice bullpen. I can pick any starter or reliever. BR draft random round. So I would have a random, I would have a number one through 25. And whatever round I get in a BR draft, that's what I get. Upgrade two players, one tier, so that if they're a bronze, I can upgrade them to a silver or like a silver goes to a gold. You guys know how that goes. Plus five overall to three players, three golds choice. And then we have Q's choice. It's like I misspelled it. It's Q's choose. So this means I can pick any player I want. That's the best one we can get. And then these are also some really good ones. We've got face of the franchise choice. We have, 87, we have 85 to 86 choice, 87 88, 89 90, uh, 92 91. 93, 94, 95, 96, and then 97 to 99 choice. So these are all the ways we could upgrade the team. The only way we could spin this wheel is if we either win the game or complete the challenge. If we do both, we get two spins on it. But now, if we, there's the loser's wheel. Now, the way the loser's wheel works is the only way we can spin this is if we lose the game. So let's say we lose the game, but we complete the challenge. We get one spin on this and one spin on the other one. So we have minus five overall, three players, minus one tier to two players, minus two tiers to one player. Um, take away last episode's upgrade. If no upgrade, and then respin. Best player to common, best player to bronze, two players to common, three players to common. Um... Four bullpen to common, two starters to common, and then there is a safe spot. So if later that, nothing happens. So let me know what you guys think of this series. Episode one, I already filmed episode one. I, I'm not going to tell you what happened. But we already filmed episode one. It will be up tomorrow. 
Um, let me know in the comments what I should add to the wheel, any twists I should add to the series. Also, I will only be playing against in play versus friends games because I'm not about to take an all bronze team into rank seasons and get destroyed. So if you guys want to play me in the series, DM me on Instagram. Just search Quincy Bell Sports. It'll be the same logo that I have. DM me if you want to play in the series. But, yeah, um, I'm thinking this is going to be great. Um, Gay One's going to be uploaded tomorrow. Um, let me know if you guys like this idea and if you are going to watch. And I'll see you in Episode 1 tomorrow.